بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ونس اگین آئی ویلکم یو ٹو مائی آئلس لسننگ ویڈیو اینڈ دس ویڈیو ول گیو یو سم یونیک ٹپس ٹو ڈیل ود آئلس لسننگ پارٹ فور دس ویڈیو از فار دوز ہو آر لوکنگ فار سیون اینڈ ابو اور ایٹ اینڈ ابو ایز ویل یو نو ایٹ ٹریپل سیون ہاں اوکے ناؤ پارٹ فور از موسٹلی ون ورڈ اونلی And I'm going to tell you how to pick up that one word from the noise. Noise means distraction. Noise means wrong answers. How to pick up that one word from a group of words or from the sentence. Let's take a start. Complete the notes below. Write one word only for each answer. And then they say the topic is the hunt for sunken settlements and ancient shipwrecks. Hunt for sunken settlements. Settlements means houses. So the houses which came under water, the societies of people, the cities which came under water, they are sunken settlements and ancient shipwrecks. Shipwreck means when the ship drowned like Titanic. Titanic is still in the ocean. It's still there. They can't take it out, right? So ancient shipwrecks. All right. Now you can see there are bullet points. The first is A-T-L-I-T, Atlit Yam. Atlit Yam is the first thing and we don't know what is Atlit Yam. Even I don't know. But when you listen to the audio, they will tell you what is Atlit Yam. You guys can see there are three bullet points without any question. So what you do, you actually focus question number 31. But at the same time, you will track the audio where audio has reached. For example, if they say about 7000 BC, it means the audio has reached point number two. And after that, if they say stone homes had a courtyard, it means the audio reached there. Be alert. Now the answer is going to come. All right. Now, what's the question? Very important. And by the way, when they give you time to read the questions, you will only read those spots where there are questions. They will give you 45 seconds or around one minute to read questions 31 to 40. So focus the points where there are the questions. Don't read the other options. Like, for example, over here, question is in fourth bullet point. So you don't need to read first three bullet points. Just take a look when the audio is going on. So they say, had a semicircle of large stones round a dash. Now, round a dash, it's a preposition. For that, they can use the same thing like semicircle of large stones around a. For round R, they can use the word around R. Now, preposition, uh, sorry, preposition around is very important and article R is very important. The answer will come after R. And by the way, in one word only, never write article. Never write our book. Never write the book. Never write some books. Only book and books. Okay? Because article is already written here. So, answer will come after a. Uh, answer will come after a round or round. You can easily find it. Okay? I'll play the audio at the end. After that, there are two more bullet points which we are going to leave and we come to question number 32. Research carried out into structures, dash and human remains. Now, let me tell you, this is a very common question in IELTS listening part four, where they talk about three things and one thing is missing, which you have to write. For structures, they can use the words like buildings, houses, okay, anything like that. Dash, that is what they will speak in the audio and then human remains. So, they might say like buildings, dash and human remains so or otherwise they can say first of all buildings the structures of a building secondly which secondly you will have your answer and finally the human remains so you should listen carefully the answer will come between structures and human remains okay good then we have the second heading second heading is traditional autonomous underwater vehicles okay fine Question number 33, used in the oil industry, e.g. to make, now listen, uh, traditional autonomous underwater vehicles, these are type of vehicles, these vehicles are used in oil industry, e.g. means for example, in the audio they will say for example and for to make, they can use the word to create, right, they may use the word to create, for example to create means for example to make, or e.g. to make and whatever they say for example to create your answer will come right after that 
See that? Yeah, we are learning IELTS listening inside out. That's why you guys like me and I love you. Okay, question number 34. Problems. They were expensive and dash. Now, expensive is adjective. Answer is going to be another adjective. For example, problems. They were expensive and they say something else. They were expensive and large. They were expensive and big. By the way, in part four, you have to pick the words exactly from the audio as they are singular, plural, whatever the word is, you will write the word down here. So the answer is going to come with expensive. For expensive, they may use the word expensive or they may use the word, it costs a lot of money. And then they will tell you the second problem. Uh, next, we've got latest AUV, but there is no question, autonomous underwater vehicles. Then there are tests. In tests, we've got a question. Uh, Marzami, Marzamimi Sicily found, these are the names. Marzamimi Sicily found ancient Roman shapes carrying architectural elements made of. Now, this answer is material. Architectural elements made of. I give you a wonderful trick for this. Whenever they use the word elements made of, for example, the answer is stone. For example, in the audio, they will not say elements made of stone. In the audio, they will say stone elements. Understand? In the audio, they will say stone elements. Now, stone elements means elements made of stone. Same trick they have used over here. Just focus that when you listen to the audio and 100% you guys will find the answer. Okay, I'm quite excited while teaching IELTS. A couple of minutes ago, I had a headache, but now I'm feeling good. I'm fasting actually. We've got this holy month of fast going on. So I've been fasting since uh, 3.50 a.m. And now it's around 2 p.m. So <laughs> you can understand. Anyways, uh, underwater internet. Now they are talking about underwater internet. Wow, look at the technology. They have underwater internet. Question number 36. Dash is used for short distance communication. They are talking about internet. Now underwater, they cannot use Wi-Fi or any wireless internet and all that. Dash is used for short distance communication, acoustic waves for long distance. So for short distance, what is it that they use for short distance communication? That will be your answer. For long distance communication, they are using acoustic uh, waves. So acoustic waves is not your answer. That is for long distance. But for short distance, they will tell you something and that is your answer. Okay, then we've got question number 37. AUV, you know AUV is autonomous underwater vehicles. AUV can send data to another AUV that has better dash, for example. De de better dash, for example. So, for example, they can use, for instance, better. For better, they can use the word superior. I tell you for question number 37, write it on a piece of paper, focus the word superior and answer will come after superior. Right? Yes, exactly. So these are the tips and techniques you need to uh, equip yourselves with these tips and techniques and there you are 7.5, 8 band, even 9 band. Some of my students, they achieve 9 bands after watching my videos. So you should be one of those students as well, inshallah, uh, by the grace of almighty God. Okay, question number 38. Now, the topic or the title is Planned Research in Gulf of Bharati. All right, Gulf of Bharati, whatever it is, don't worry about unusual words, okay? You don't need the meaning and even these words are proper nouns, so don't worry. Uh, okay, they say to find out more about wrecks of ancient Roman ships, including. Now, after including, we have two que three questions rather, right? Including what? Question number 38. One carrying dash supplies. So a ship which was wrecked carrying dash supplies. Write it down somewhere for supplies. They will use the word goods. Okay. The ship was carrying dash goods. For example, if they say the ship was carrying sports goods. So the answer is sports and supplies is already written. So supplies will be replaced by goods. And if you focus the word goods, you can find the answer. Okay. All right. Tablets may have been used. Okay. They've used the word tablets. So tablets rings a bell. It can be medical. 
because tablets are related to medical. I am not talking about uh, tablet like this. I am talking about the other tablet which you have when you have a headache. Huh? They have changed the meanings. You know the word positive has become very negative these days. God forbidden. Yeah. Okay. For cleaning the dash. Now they said, sorry, tablets is with the next one. Tablets may have been used for cleaning the. Now cleaning the means something cleaning. Listen, for tablets, they said uh, carrying dash supplies. Tablets may have been used for cleaning the. Now for this, for cleaning the, they might use the word like cleansing liquid. Cleansing for cleansing, cleansing purpose or for cleaning the, for for making something clean so just focus cleaning and then you will find the answer about that and tablets i mean they have some maybe they they put the tablets in water and then they put that water in eyes and all that stuff okay it's just like that i'm just assuming that question number 40 others carrying containers of olive oil or dash very simple the answer is going to be with olive oil right so other carrying containers now they are talking about shipwrecks roman ships which were wrecked so they include one is about carrying something and second is other carrying containers of oil or dash now for or they usually rephrase or paraphrase it and others held and others held or and others contained or and others had so one is olive oil, carrying containers of olive oil or and then with olive oil, whatever they say before or after, something that is going to be a commodity. Olive oil is a commodity. Olive oil is something for human consumption. So it can be another thing which is a commodity, which is for human consumption or which is a good like that. So you can just find this answer. Now I'm going to play the audio. I truly wish you good luck. All 10 questions are there. And at the end, now first, what you need to do on a piece of paper, write numbers 31, 32, 33, 34, all vertically. Okay, and put that piece of paper in front of you, look at the screen, and whenever you find the answer 31, write the answer, 32, write the answer, 33, write the answer, write all 10 answers. After the audio, I will show you the answers, check your answers, and please comment out of 10 how many answers are correct and this will be a nice indicator of your learning what you learned from me actually all the best guys i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that let's take a start with this listening test and i wish you 10 by 10 cheers Now turn to section 4. Section 4. You will hear part of a lecture about a branch of archaeology called marine archaeology. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. In today's class, I'm going to talk about marine archaeology, the branch of archaeology focusing on human interaction with the sea, lakes and rivers. It's the study of ships, cargoes, shipping facilities and other physical remains. I'll give you an example, then go on to show how this type of research is being transformed by the use of the latest technology. 
Atlit Yam was a village on the coast of the eastern Mediterranean, which seems to have been thriving until around 7000 BC. The residents kept cattle, caught fish, and stored grain. They had wells for fresh water. Many of their houses were built around a courtyard and were constructed of stone. The village contained an impressive monument. Seven half-ton stones standing in a semicircle around a spring that might have been used for ceremonial purposes. Atlit Yam may have been destroyed swiftly by a tsunami, or climate change may have caused glaciers to melt and sea levels to rise, flooding the village gradually. Whatever the cause, it now lies ten metres below the surface of the Mediterranean, buried under sand at the bottom of the sea. It's been described as the largest and best preserved prehistoric settlement ever found on the seabed. For marine archaeologists, Atlit Yam is a treasure trove. Research on the buildings, tools and the human remains has revealed how the bustling village once functioned, and even what diseases some of its residents suffered from. But of course, this is only one small village, one window into a lost world. For a fuller picture, researchers need more sunken settlements, but the hard part is finding them. Underwater research used to require divers to find shipwrecks or artefacts, but in the second half of the 20th century, various types of underwater vehicles were developed, some controlled from a ship on the surface, and some of them autonomous, which means they don't need to be operated by a person. Autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVs, are used in the oil industry, for instance, to create maps of the seabed before rigs and pipelines are installed. To navigate, they use sensors such as compasses and sonar. Until relatively recently, they were very expensive and so heavy that they had to be launched from a large vessel with a winch. But the latest AUVs are much easier to manoeuvre. They can be launched from the shore or a small ship. And they're much cheaper, which makes them more accessible to research teams. They are also very sophisticated. They can communicate with each other and, for example, work out the most efficient way to survey a site or to find particular objects on the seabed. Field tests show the approach can work. For example, in a trial in 2015, three AUVs searched for wrecks at Marzimemi, off the coast of Sicily. The site is the final resting place of an ancient Roman ship, which sank in the 6th century AD, while ferrying prefabricated marble elements for the construction of an early church. The AUVs mapped the area in detail, finding other ships carrying columns of the same material. Creating an internet in the sea for AUVs to communicate is no easy matter. Wi-Fi networks on land use electromagnetic waves, but in water, these will only travel a few centimetres. Instead, a more complex mix of technologies is required. For short distances, AUVs can share data using light, while acoustic waves are used to communicate over long distances. But more creative solutions are also being developed, where an AUV working on the seabed offloads data to a second AUV, which then surfaces and beams the data home to the research team using a satellite. There's also a system that enables AUVs to share information from seabed scans and other data. So, 
If an AUV surveying the seabed finds an intriguing object, it can share the coordinates of the object, that is, its position, with a nearby AUV that carries superior cameras, and arrange for that AUV to make a closer inspection of the object. Marine archaeologists are excited about the huge potential of these AUVs for their discipline. One site where they're going to be deployed is the Gulf of Baratti off the Italian coast. In 1974, a 2,000 year old Roman vessel was discovered here in 18 meters of water. When it sank, it was carrying medical goods in wooden or tin receptacles. Its cargo gives us insight into the treatments available all those years ago, including tablets that are thought to have been dissolved to form a cleansing liquid for the eyes. Other Roman ships went down nearby, taking their cargoes with them. Some held huge pots made of terracotta, some were used for transporting cargoes of olive oil, and others held wine. In many cases, it's only these containers that remain, while the wooden ships have been buried under silt on the seabed. Another project that's about to be... That is the end of Section 4. You now have half a minute to check your answers.